if you run out on Facebook, you want to watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you a tool that is going to change the way you run Facebook ad on Facebook and save you a lot of money by reducing your click per cost, by helping you finding hidden interest that other marketers on Facebook are not necessarily targeting. Here is an example. With that tool, if I type any niche, it can help you find niche and hidden interest that can save you a lot of money on your Facebook ad. Example, if I come here and I type fitness, these are the niches that it's suggesting. And these are a lot of interests that are on Facebook that Facebook is not necessarily showing you that you can use to target people that are interested in fitness. Suppose I type, for example, dogs. This again is showing me niches related to dog. And if I select any niche here, it's going to show me all the interests. You see all those interests that Facebook will never show, Facebook will only show you about 20 to 30, but like I've not seen a tool like this on the market and it allows you to really skyrocket your Facebook ad. What you do after you found all your interests is that you can actually copy them and go on your ad set on Facebook when you're creating your ad and simply paste those hidden interests underneath the demographic interest and behavior right here. And guess what? They're directly added to your detail targeting. This leads to a reduction of your click per cost or increase in your ROI because you're actually targeting only people that have expressed interest using in those in your niche using those hidden interests that Facebook was not showing you. The rest of the video is an interview with the founder and creator of the tool where we discuss everything. I ask all the questions about the functionality of the tool, who is the tool for, how to use it, concrete example, and we discuss about cancellation policy, additional tips that you can use to succeed with your Facebook ad. So let's get started. I'm partnering right now with uh, the founder and creator of a tool called Audiencer. And I wanted to walk through a series of questions to really provide you with in-depth information about what I consider to be one of the best tools out there for anyone that runs any Facebook ad. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Hello, uh, first of all, uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Audience Radio is built for, um, especially for advertisers. So uh, Audience Radio helps advertisers uh, find interests uh, for, to run with their, with their ads. It's built especially for uh, marketing agencies and for freelancers who have clients and have to, to do targeting research every time they get a new, a new client. But it's not limited only to agencies and freelancers. It can be used by solopreneurs, uh, e-com uh, e -com owners, um, SaaS companies. Basically, everyone who run, runs ads on Facebook can, uh, can use Audiencer. I went and researched a bit uh, on Facebook API, and this is how I discovered you, you can actually query uh, their API and find as many interests as you can. And right now, Audiencer, um, through its users, has discovered over two, 200,000 uh, interests you can target on Facebook. Mm, this is amazing. 200,000 yeah. interests yeah. that, if I understand correctly, a lot of them are not necessarily shown to advertiser on Facebook, but That's they correct. are hidden interests on the, on the Facebook database. Yeah, they're hidden because uh, Facebook, uh, the ads manager, sorry, has a tendency to uh, to show you the broadest audiences. Like if you go and type, let's say if you're if you're in the dogs niche and you're selling something for dog owners and you um, you type in their dogs, is not going to to give you very advanced targeting options. So. Uh, I'm sure you know uh, on Facebook, if you engage uh, on a topic like let's say dogs in, in this uh, exam example, <clears throat> uh, even if you like a picture or you comment or whatever, uh, you get assigned, you get tagged with a, with the keyword, which in this case is, uh, is dogs. And that keyword is how uh, Facebook targets you by interests. So Facebook in this case considers you're interested in dogs, but you, you don't necessarily have a dog. Right. So this is why when you target, you need to target more advanced stuff, more, uh, more slang-ish keywords in the industry 
Like in this case, you could go for some uh, food brands like Purina or Pedigree or whatever, or some training technique like clicker training or something that that only uh, a dog owner will, would know. Why would like someone that markets on Facebook use Audiencer instead of relying on a competitor tool? or simply Facebook interests that are already shown? Yeah, so uh, first of all, the most limited is the ads manager. Okay. And second of all, uh, Audiencer has a feature that nobody has on, on, uh, on this market, which is uh, grouping the interest into niches. Basically, uh, Audiencer looks at what everybody else searches, what every, everybody else finds, and based on that, it organizes the interests into niches. So if, uh, let's consider the, the example before, if you're in the dog's niche, uh, you can go to Audiencer. Audiencer, by the way, has a feature called uh, Niche Explorer. And in this Niche Explorer, you can just type dogs and without knowing anything at all about this industry, you get uh, a lot of keywords to you can target with your ads. I want to talk about the pricing because I want to make sure that people understand what are the different plans that Audiencer offers and uh, what are the features that come with different the different plans. If you can uh, talk more about the pricing and what a free account looks like and maybe mm -hmm. what a pay account looks like if there is any. Yeah, so uh, Audiencer has two types of accounts. One is uh, the free one, which is free forever. It's not a free trial, as many, as many people think. And one is the paid one, which is uh, fully featured. Uh, the difference between the free and the paid one is the free one is very limited because uh, in order to, to access uh, all, the, all the juicy stuff, so to speak, <laughs> you, you, you ha you'll have to pay. So with the free account, uh, you're very limited. You're limited to only 10 searches a day. And of course you get all the results as opposed to, uh, to Facebook where you get uh, 25 results only. With Audiencer, you still get uh, the full uh, list of interests if you type, like, for example, um, dogs or something, anything you want. So you get 10 searches per day and um, you only get access to basic search. And of course you can, you can create audiences. You can save... Uh, you can save interests. You can add those those interests to your audiences. Okay. So since someone can do 10 searches per day and mm -hmm. have access to like all the interest, what is the incentive to switch to the full price? And is there a full price? How much does it cost? And what is the incentive to switch to full price? Uh, the full price is $199. And the uh, the advantage is the speed you get when you when you research. Basically, you get to use the niche explorer, and the suggestions uh, audience gives you only by knowing your niche. So basically, when you when you come to audience, or let's say if you if you are an agency or a freelancer and you just onboard a new client, um, you come to to audience and type your niche in there, and you you're ready to go which the free accounts cannot do. It's $199. Lifetime license or a yearly license? It's a, it's a one-time fee, a lifetime. Okay, one-time fee, lifetime. Mm -hmm. Is there any discount to people that sign up uh, early or is the, the price flat? Uh, no, it's not flat. I have a very great uh, incentive uh, for 30 minutes after you sign up as a free account. Uh, you get to to buy audience for half of the price, so that's yeah, so that's ninety nine dollars. But that but that's valid for only thirty minutes. So if you if you are really into to running successful ads and you really want to use audience, you have to buy it in thirty minutes. And thirty minutes, I think it's it's uh, it's good enough for someone to is enough time for someone to to take to take uh, audience for a spin. This is incredible. So guys, listen, it, the price normally is a lifetime license, $199. In the first 30 minutes after you sign up, you have the possibility of having half of that $199, which is only about $99 for 
for a lifetime license for a tools that there's probably no competition on the market. So I want you to take action after you watch this video. Now let's get moving. Um, can you now sh like show us, for example, what a full account looks like and uh, how can an advertiser get started with the tool after he or she signs up for uh, Audiencer? Yeah, so uh, my recommendation is uh, for people to sign up as a free as a free user, uh, click around, look at the training, look at what Audiencer can do and cannot do, and then decide. So the uh, this gap of 30 minutes, I think it's enough for someone to decide if they want to to step in or not. And this is why I recommend to uh, to sign up as a free user. The other question is, can you show us like, how a marketer that signs up with Audiencer can start? Okay. Like if he buy, if he or she buys the full account, like how does it work? How can I find the interest in different niches and how can I actually apply that on an ad set to reduce my clipper cost? Okay, uh, let me share my screen with you sure. and show you around the dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard um, inside Audiencer. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, a special feature for, the, for, uh, for agencies uh, I designed this with the agency in mind because uh, as you can see here, I already have three audiences and in here for each of these products, I have a bunch of audiences. So just putting them together on a single page would make it really hard to, for, for people to to find them. So I came with the, with the project idea. So uh, in case you're an agency, um, you can have a project, a separate project for each of your, uh, for each of your clients. And if you want to have multiple audiences uh, inside of each project, you can do that. And inside of Audiencer, uh, the, uh, the audiences aren't connected with, uh, with the ads manager. Instead, they're, uh, they're like buckets where you put your audience, oh, sorry, your interests. And I didn't connect it to, uh, to, to the ads manager because uh, it requires special permissions and there is a chance you're going to have to explain to Facebook what you're doing if, uh, if you get to have a bunch of users with uh, bad standing counts and all of that. So I kept it to, to a minimum. You're basically saying that like, if someone runs, for example, multiple dropshipping store, multiple e-commerce, let's say in fashion mm -hmm. and in the dark niche, or if someone is an agency, a B2B business that handles the ads for different agencies or different businesses, small businesses or medium businesses, the like the way they can organize the, the, the way they can use Audiencer, first of all, is to start by creating multiple projects where they can switch between projects for the different clients or different stores. Uh, let's uh, let's assume the, the dog niche because I'm more familiar with it. I played a lot with it. So uh, if you were, uh, let's say you, you have a new store and you create a new project, let's say it's my dog's store and you see in in here you don't have any audiences so far so what you do is create a new audience and you name this let's say dogs again and in here you need to you need to tell uh, audience or what niche you're in because this is the way um it's going to to know who you're looking for and suggest your interest based on that so in here, I'm going to type my, uh, you can you can use either your niche or your perfect avatar. So in my case, it's dogs, uh, let me select it, dog owners, and I click save and continue. And in here, I'm inside of the audience. Uh, you can look at audience or suggestions and you see in here, you get a bunch of this because the dogs industry is a big one. And you see how small the, the scroll bar is. So you, you really get a lot of suggestions to, to try with your ads. So uh, once you find a couple of interests you, you think uh, you're going to use, you can click on the plus sign. And what the plus sign does is it saves them to, to your saved interests. So from your dashboard, if you click on the dogs uh, audience and then on saved interests, you're going to find them here for later use. Uh, then, of course, you can search for whatever you want, but I'm going to go back to, to the audience for suggestions and add a few more, like uh, dog training, dog behavior, 
uh, you can know about this is a dog uh, dog food brand um would now one also a food brand and one cool thing you can do another cool thing that's uh, not available on the market and you can do only with audience is uh once we have once you have a bunch of interests in here you can select a couple of them or all if you want to and grab more suggestions but in this uh, in this example i want to to show you or how these suggestions happen and how you can get dynamic suggestions based on your selection. So in this case, let me insist on the uh, dog training type of interest and asking for suggestions, it's going to give me uh, training related suggestions in here. So like Dog Whisperer, uh, I think this is a show, TV show or something. Uh, then Dog Agility, this is also related to training. Um, then uh, Confirmation Show, then let's say I want to investigate even more and I want to select these as well and ask for suggestions again and see how mm. um, how Facebook becomes dynamic like yeah, suggestions. yeah, yeah fly ball. Oh, wow. it, it's, it, yeah, it's it's getting magnetic. You know, the more any obedience trial, the more you you narrow uh, mm -hmm. your searches, the, the more is going to and it keeps to, finding interest related to the previous yeah. interest. Yeah. And if I deselect all of them and only pick the food related ones, check this out. You see, you now get only food brands. Wow. So it depends on you, like if your strategy is to, to, to target more on the side of, uh, of, of training, you can go for, for those interests related to training. So if you, if you want to target uh, dog trainers, mm -hmm. you can go for, for these type of keywords. This right so fantastic. yeah yeah so th these are the kind of suggestions you never get from facebook never absolutely i mean what yeah. facebook usually suggests you is only about 10 to 20 and you have to type them first of all manually and yeah they only suggest uh interest with very very large audience sizes like millions of yeah uh, hundreds, people, of millions hundreds, yeah, hundreds of millions and now i guess how do i find the audience size of each interest uh, for this, uh, when you when you look at the, at the suggestions uh, or in every searches, you have this uh, this icon in here. So uh, Beneful has an audience size size worldwide of uh, of four million, and I say worldwide because it's not related to any country. It's the total total um, audience size. So it's it doesn't have any demographic filters applied. This is how Facebook provides the information via their API. Okay, that is cool. And mm -hmm. what is the forty six next to it in the green? The forty six is the, uh, is an internal metric uh, that tells you how relevant your um, uh, this interest is to your niche. So, in this case, Benful is uh, is an interest that people, when searching and finding this uh, this keyword, have indicated that is uh it is uh good for the dog's niche so the higher the uh this number the the more uh, relevant is to your niche and in this case in the dogs look at look at this in the dogs uh, in the dogs industry meow mix is typically a brand for kitties for cats and it has a relevance score of uh of one i see so so users or people that have already bought the tool should rely, look at both the relevant score and also the audience size when they're actually filtering the interest that they want to target. Yeah, so this is a, this is the metric built uh, by analyzing. Mm -hmm. At this point, Audiencer has uh, almost 300, 360,000 data points. So that's interests from Facebook, that searches, that's keyword associations from um, from everybody on the platform mm -hmm. and it crunches everything in and tries to to compute this uh, this number in the in the best way possible this i i am loving this tool really i am very much loving this tool now i have a mm -hmm. quick a, a question what is the search button on the right hand side next to each like audience size uh this one there's yes that search button like what this is... one uh, runs basically a search 
for this keyword. So you, uh, this is a, a handy little thing. So you don't have to select everything, copy, then go to search and search. Like in this case, I search for dog chow. Yeah, so, so if I click on Nestle Purina pet, pet Care, it's going to search for this one. Okay, so it's basically searching the interest in the... And if you don't know um, uh, what the keyword is, in this case, we know, but if you don't know, you, you, you have the possibility to search on Facebook and on Google. And th this used to be useful when, uh, when we had audience insights, which by the way is gone uh, since uh, July 1st or 30th of June. Uh, yeah, but it, uh, you, can, you can search or, on Facebook or, or on Google if you don't know what uh, an interest means. And here is a concrete example of what he's talking about. Suppose, for example, you have searched, I don't know, dog, you went on Facebook suggestion, but you don't necessarily know what this American Kennel Club is or this animal rescue site is with 5 million interests audience size. You can actually come here and click search on Google. It's going to open another window that can actually tell you more about the animal rescue site. And this is them right here. You can open them and actually see what they are about. Or you can actually come here and search them on Facebook. If they have a Facebook page, I believe you see on the Facebook search, you can actually open their Facebook page and see as well what they are about. So the tool is super, super amazing. Let me show you an ex another example. Let's say, for example, Purina Mills. If you don't know what Purina Mill is, you can actually come here and search, for example, for that on Facebook. If they have a Facebook page, you will actually see that here. This is the Purina at Purina, blah, blah, blah. This is them here. So you can actually open and see what their page is about. And this is the pe the people that have liked this page are the people that are, you're actually going to target. And because they've expressed interest in this page, meaning that they love dog and your uh, or dog food, and you're probably going to actually, if you're selling dog food, for example, or cat food, targeting those people are probably going to increase conversion because people have already expressed interest in that. And if you can, you can also search for them on Google right here you, and, and you will learn more about what they are and you will see as well on the relevance score. It has a high relevance score. So the tool knows what exactly you need and sometimes you may not necessarily know the interest or the names but you can search for them as well before we continue i just want to tell you that guys you want to take action at least like he said you want to make sure at least you create a free account it's not it there is a free account forever yes it's limited but it allows you to explore the tools that are being offered and also to look at the trainings. By yeah, the way, I love the There's training. no credit card required. It's Oh, there's no credit card required. No, no. Okay. This is amazing, guys. There's no credit card required. So I want you to click down below and actually try. Go sign up. Get a free account. Buy if you love this tool. And I really personally love this tool. And I think I'm going to go for it. Now, one question that I have is how do I after I found my interest? and I have saved them under my folder for my niche. How do I copy them in my ad set and actually, um, like when, if I'm, if I'm creating an ad, how do I copy them in my ad set? Uh, it's simple via copy paste. So basically uh, you go to, to them, you select them all, uh, you click on copy, the, this is the copy button, and then you have them uh, inside of your clipboard. Then you go to your ads manager and from the ads manager, you go to detail targeting and mm -hmm. from there you, you paste. And this goes back to what I show at the introduction of the video. Suppose, for example, this is an ad for kitchen, a kitchen slicer, where if you look at the ads that was created, this is the ad right there. And it's for kitchen slicer where, for example, this is what it looks like. The product is, is really good. Everything is already written where I have already put the the promo code. I have already put everything. But now you need to find the right audience. How do you find that audience? Is that you go back into once you've already in your in your project. This is for example the list of projects that I've already created. If I go on the kitchen and I go under my 
I open my kitchen right here and I go under saved interest this is the list of the kitchen interest that I've already saved and I can simply copy these and go on the ads right there you see on this is the ad but if I go back here on the audience and I scroll down under uh, create new audience right here detail targeting here I can simply paste those and guess what they are all added under my kitchen audience now I am make I'm making sure that I'm actually targeting people that have expressed interest in kitchen and you can actually do even something better you can do what we call laser targeting what you can do is that you can even narrow the audience suppose I cancel these and I come here first I on audiencer I select only a few I want people that are interested in these right here I copy and then I go back here I paste and I can narrow the audience as well and I also want those people also let me just deselect everything those people also have to be interested in these interests right because that this is called layering meaning that you're selecting you're adding two layer you're only showing the ads to people that have inter expressed interest in these and also must match these interests so you actually really really narrow you have two set of audiences this one and this one guess what your targeting is laser targeting right here before you publish your ad use this tool do that click on the link down below to get the tool same way with the other ad this is another fitness ad for example if i go here you will see the product let me show you the product the product is already really really good and you, you will if you look get your machine stay fit today if they click here they can shop but if I show this ad in front of the wrong people I'm gonna waste money because they're not gonna click on my ad because they're not interested in fitness or they've not expressed interest in fitness on Facebook how do I find the people that are interested in fitness I can use audiencer go back under my fitness project or health and fitness project that I've already created and I open that right here and I go under my saved audiences that was already done and then I can simply do the same thing either copy all of this right here go under this one under the fitness and sport audience and actually down here on the audience here I can paste all of that you see it as soon as I paste it already adds them or I can create the layering I can cancel all of this and go back and create the layering I can say I only want people that are interested in this 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 I copy a paste and also that 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 and also that 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 too you can create multiple layers with that but you have to find the right interest and remember what we said if for example you're only interested in men's feeding okay men fitness or you only want to target for example men or you're only selling active wear you can simply come here on this active way thing and click here on suggestion it's going to suggest even additional stuff like outerwear swimsuit sport wear fashion those things that you can actually use if you're interested in let's say um only men stuff like if i go back under my safe audience and only men fitness you can come here on next to men fitness narrow your audience for like a lot of men's stuff muscle and fitness you can target that men's health flex magazine 24 hour business fitness just for men's stuff and like I, I don't know if you realize the power of this tool for you as a Facebook marketer but it's super super powerful again click on the link down below and get the tool how is the audience a customer service uh, if you ask me, it's top notch because I spent a lot of time. This is the the version two, by the way. And after releasing after releasing uh, version number two, I spent a lot of time with uh, with tools to record screens uh, of uh, of people and to see how they were using Audiencer and where were the bottlenecks and how can I improve the the the, the software overall. 
and it it was mainly just moving buttons around but uh you know when you, you when you first uh, uh come with the with a new ui user interface uh it's called uh people are going to have uh some usability issues so i went in and fixed all of these issues so now the uh, the customer support is basically empty all the time i'm i'm getting a, a ticket like every two days so one ticket every free. You're basically yeah. saying that the user or the people that buy the tool that use the tool yeah. already know how to use it, like because yeah. it's very yeah. simple in such a way that they don't necessarily have to open tickets. Yeah, exactly. I spent a lot of time optimizing all the flows and everything, and putting buttons everywhere, so everything you need is very easy to find. And there's also training. Uh, Audience has a couple of training videos that explained explain uh what it does how it does it how you can do this you can do that so basically people do not need support for this tool absolutely that's great now uh, it's good to know that if they need support they have someone that they can easily reach out to and yeah. get their problem yeah. fixed now the yeah. one other question that i have is for people that buy the tool right Mm -hmm. Is there a cancellation policy associated yeah. with buying the tool? Yeah, so we have a very strict uh, refund policy. Any, uh, any, for any reason, if you don't like uh, the tool, you can request a refund and we're going to give you the money back uh, because the policy here is uh, we don't need uh, unhappy clients. So basically, if you love the tool and you will love the tool, you're going to keep it. But if for any reason you decide it's not for you, then just uh, write an email at support at audiencer.io and uh, I'm going to personally refund the money. Okay, and what's the timeline for a refund? Is it seven day or thirty days or thirty days? Okay, thirty days. Thirty days. This is great. So, thirty days cancellation policy. Mm -hmm. If you don't love it, but I am pretty sure you will love it because I have not yeah. personally seen any tool like this out there. All right. So I, I like. I wish I knew about this tool when I was when I started running ad back in two thousand eighteen. My last question is for people that are running at on Facebook and mm -hmm. that really, really want to try this tool, what are some of the tips or secret that you can share with them, especially for new marketers that don't necessarily even know how, you know, Facebook works. And it seems you have a lot of experience in that area. What are some of the tips or secret you can share if you have any that can help them succeed with their journey on Facebook ad? Yeah. So for, for the new people out there, um, the best thing I can recommend is uh, think about who your ideal customer is and just go type it in the niche explorer and it's going to save you a bunch of time when researching for interest. Okay. So think about the audience and basically type them in the niche explorer, find yeah. all those yeah. interests and actually target yeah. those people. Yeah, okay. exactly. I don't think I have another question. Um, if there's anything else you want to share about the tool, please uh, feel free now. Anything that can really convince people out there that this tool is the tool for them. Otherwise, I think what you've already shown speak for itself. And I am I am very happy to share that with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, this is a tool that recommends interests even better than Facebook does. And it's a tool that's worth the money just by thinking at how much you can waste uh, if you if you target the wrong audience, so if you just grow go super broad and don't have any data and hope Facebook is is going to to give you your ideal customers, you may you may uh, get to your ideal customers eventually, but until uh, until you do, you may you may you may burn a lot of money. So I hope you have a wonderful success with your tool because I think you've built a terrific tool. And Thanks. Yeah, definitely. And um, I'll be happy to share that with my audience. Thanks for having me. And if you have any questions, even if you buy or, or don't buy the software, uh, drop uh, drop me a line at support at audiencer.io. I'm personally monitoring uh, the, the support desk. So guys, you have the founder of the tool that is willing and that is available for any of your questions. I'm going to put that email down below the video. And 
you can reach out for any remaining questions that you may have. I hope I answered the questions that you probably cared about, about pricing, about the functionality, about customer service. But if you have other questions, make sure you use that email down below reach out and I'm sure you'll be satisfied. So far, I am very happy with what I'm seeing with the tool and uh, I wish you a lot of success with your Facebook ad journey. And remember, click on the link down below to get the tool. You have three plans. You have the free forever, very limited, only 10 searches per day and a lot of functionality limited, but then the full plan actually provides you uh, all the futures and it's only 99 lifetime license if you sign up within the first 30 minutes and it's a 199 lifetime license after the first 30 minutes if in case you still hesitant you will have to pay a higher price now click on the link down below get the tool until next time take good care of yourself i love you guys peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you